if I have one more person try to convince me that their issue is more important than my issue, I'm definitely going to lose my mind. What's going on everybody? This is David Brooks, the Cutter Light Counselor, coming at you to tell you a little piece of my mind. And today I got to talk about your concern versus my concern. And I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of people get in their feelings whenever you don't really take interest in their concerns. Before I get into the explaining all of that, make sure that you subscribe. Love to see you hit that button right now. But if you don't, always come on and see what's happening because I'm always talking about something that's on my mind that's in the government or just in life in general. But this is a major thing. So... This is for you, Alex, just in case you didn't know. Listen, she was posting about the military and the kind of things that are going on with people in Afghanistan. And she was just so just angry. And I was sitting there listening to her rant. And I just said to myself, listen, everybody got their own problems and the things that they see as a problem. Like for me, I have an issue with the criminal system. I want to see criminals get a fair shake in the system. Now, is it somewhat equal? It's equally broken. On, the, on one side it's broken and on the other side it's broken. Now, a lot of times the judges, they're just try listening to what's going on. But that's my issue. I try my best to compel people by watching my videos, my posts, and all of that to be convinced that they need to understand that the criminal system is wrong. Now, the thing about it is, if you've never been in the criminal system, you never had a family member in the criminal system, it's just like drugs. Nobody's really concerned about it until it hits home. So that's why you see a lot of politicians and a whole lot of other people in our community that normally would just turn their head because they don't really care about what's going on in the community. But once their child turns up sick or starts getting dope sick, needing to try to find treatment or even die, next thing you know, now they're an advocate for it. Now they're going around talking to people about all of the problems around the substance abuse or the criminal system, or it could be um, soldiers in the military. It doesn't matter what the thing is. Everybody's going to be driven towards something. Now, what do we do to people that are really driven about a problem is we speak it and we scream it loud. To be honest, most people don't really want to be concerned about all of those problems. All they want to do is just wake up, go to work, make sure their families are good, and that's about it. Most people are like that. I would say a larger percent of people are just trying to get by without drama and compared to people like us who think there's problems and think it's our job to fix it. And so, hey, Alex, I get it. You want to be someone who is out there advocating, but always remember some people that's not their fight. Now, they might have a different fight that they might be interested in. Some people uh, uh, are all in the pets and some are vegan. Some people don't want to because there's all issues. You know, when you bite into that burger, one of them cows died for that. But a lot of people, we just go out to eat. We don't really care. Now, if this is your issue that you got a problem with, then you need to put it out there. Give us people who might not be paying attention. Put a video out there. Let us look and see so that we start to question. That's our job. It's just to make people question. It's not really to make people change. And if you keep living your life trying to make people change, you are up a wrong hill. You will never make it. The goal is that we can't change people. We can't pull people. We can't push people. Now, we might try, but that's just to our own demise. That's just like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. It's just not going to happen. What can happen is that you can motivate people by telling them your story, telling them the things that, that why it means something, but don't be intrusive. Always just be humble in your talk, and it might change somebody and make them see the world a little different. 
Hey, I just hope that you understand that your concern is not my concern, but if you do it right and you speak it in the right tone and you show them love through it, they just might be concerned about what's on your mind. Hey, it's David Brooks, the Cadillac Counselor, coming at you to tell you a little piece of my mind.